who it is. Thank you for joining me. I am Fuzz Martin, and this is 15 Minutes with Fuzz. On this show, we focus on good things happening in Washington County, Wisconsin. No drama, no politics, none of your uncle's social media rants, or if you are an uncle, none of your nieces or nephews bothering you. Just good old, clean, positive fun. Hey, I do have one favor to ask you as you're listening today. I've noticed a lot of people listen on my website, 15withfuzz.com, but it would really help the show and help you if you like the show. If you would listen in either Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or Google Podcasts, whichever one you tend to use the most. And then when you're there, click the subscribe button in those apps, and new episodes will be delivered to you every Monday morning. You get a little notification. Then you don't have to like sit around and refresh social media until I post the new links because I know you're doing that, right? No? Okay. Well, if you don't mind subscribing, that would make all of this a little easier and my heart a little bigger uh, in a good way, not in a large heart way. But uh, if you don't want to, I'm just glad you're here right now. Today, I'm speaking with West Bend's mayor, Chris Jenkins, about an event coming up this weekend, Saturday, February 12th at Silverbrook Middle School in West Bend. The event is called Soup. Super Bowl Saturday, and it's hosted by the West Bend Early Risers Kiwanis, of which Mayor Jenkins is also the board secretary. And with that, here's 15 minutes on Super Bowl Saturday with Mayor Jenkins on 15 Minutes with Fuzz. Mayor Jenkins, thanks for joining me. Now, let's talk a little bit first about Kiwanis and what it does, because there are a lot of great organizations in the area, and, and I think it's important for people to know which ones, uh, what what they focus on, and, and who's involved in all of that. Absolutely. I, I live and breathe the nonprofit world. We have a lot of great nonprofits in the city of West Bend that are supporting a lot of different causes, um, so that's always great to see and support them. So I'm a part of uh, West Bend Early Risers Kiwanis. I, currently, the secretary I was a past president, and I've been involved with this organization for a number of years. Kiwanis Kiwanis overall, it's been around for a long time. It's been established since 1915 as a local organization. And what they do is they have little clubs, you know, throughout each, pretty much each community throughout the United States and throughout the world. Mm -hmm. And their, their emphasis is on raising funds and then turning around and using those funds for different programs and things that help children in the communities. That's the big, big impact. So a good example of uh, some of the causes that we support here in the city of West Bend. We have the Kids Free Fishing Clinic that we do in April. That's a big, exciting event. We do our Duck Derby every year. That's a larger event that we do as well. Sure. And then we support programs like the West Bend Library Family Night. So across the street, mm -hmm. uh, whenever we do a, an exciting event and bring in you know, magicians and musicians and all that good stuff, that's supported by Kiwanis. So that's pretty cool. We help to raise money for iPads for the Focus on Autism Project. Great. Uh, we've raised money for the History Center, Washington County, Threshold, Musical Maskers does a youth program. So pretty much anything that has a program that also needs financial support to help kids in the community. When did you get started working uh, or getting involved with Kiwanis? Well, everything, it feels like everything that I do, you know, including my job as mayor, has all been because I'm suckered into it because of my kids. <laughs> sure, yeah. So I have, I have five kids and they keep me busy. Yeah. Um, so I can imagine you, how five kids would keep you busy. <laughs> so generally everything that I do is somewhat connected to them. So I joined Kiwanis uh, because they were directly impacting some of the programs and things that I brought my own kids to. Um, so I got invited, uh, I don't know, it's going to be seven years ago now, by a club member. I used to, I used to be working at BMO Harris Bank. They stopped by my office, said, hey, you'd make a great member. <laughs> I've seen you at some stuff. And I said, sure, why not? I'll come check them out. And it what's what's great is that they definitely welcome you know newbies like me with open arms. Mm -hmm. And you built that, uh, that kind of sense of sorority, right, that community that we have amongst each other. And it's a great place to, to network just like any other uh, community group would be. You're now the secretary, which uh, I assume is of the board, right? And so you, <laughs> yep. you, get, you get to be the one to take all the meeting notes and do all that stuff. But also um, tell me about how, uh, how people can get involved with Kiwanis, what's involved with the early risers if somebody wanted to be a part of that. Absolutely. So we're calling 
called the early risers for a reason. We wake up early, and that's when we meet. <laughs> we currently meet uh, 7 o'clock in the morning at the uh, Brazing Pan okay. on Thursday morning. So Thursday morning, 7 o'clock, Brazing Pan. Uh, everybody's welcome to come check out a meeting, learn more about us. Typically at our weekly meetings, we have guest speakers that come in. So maybe we'll have to get yourself to come in and, and tell, tell us a little bit about yourself and sure. your, your career. And that's pretty cool because then we have, you know, whether it's local celebrities like our police chief or myself, or Mm -hmm. otherwise we bring in other nonprofits and leaders just to learn more about them. Sure. And then what's cool is that typically those groups then end up getting funding the next year, right? Because we've learned about them. We said, oh, this camp that's running on next year is really cool. We want to help invest in that. As I said, it's just a great experience to get to know your community a lot more Mm -hmm. and do it with a group of people and the camaraderie that you get. Yeah, very good. And how many people are typically there at the Brazing Pen on a Thursday morning? Oh, it could vary. Uh, Our current membership is about 30, 40 people that are probably regular people that that attend. But then we have people that, just like any club, that come in and out. Yeah, Yeah. I totally hear you. (laughs) Um, Coming up, you have an event, uh, which I assume is a fundraiser for you being able to support these uh, these great organizations. And that is your Soup Herbal Saturday. (laughs) You got it. Super Bowl Saturday. Uh, this is a tradition uh, that we've been doing. It's our 13th annual uh, celebration. It's called Super Bowl because we do it before the yep. Super Bowl yep. every year. I think we're all kind of still miffed that the Packers aren't there. But <laughs> right, yes. That's okay. We'll celebrate <laughs> anyway. And, you know, especially this year is really important because last year with COVID and the pandemic, we didn't get to do it. Yeah. Um, so that really hurt our fundraising efforts pretty much for the whole next year. And this is the largest fundraiser that we do every year. Okay. So, so really drawing in the community support is important for this, not only this event and our club, but then all the other events that we help sponsor too. So that's going on Saturday, February 12th from 11 to 2 at Silverbrook Middle School. The event itself, uh, you know, we we do it with many sponsors that are able to help support this event. We have some new sponsors this year too and people that have upped their wagers from the previous year. Great. We have different sponsor levels. I won't get into that. Sure. Uh, But just some big names. Uh, Quick Trip is a huge sponsor this year. West Bend Mutual has always been great. And Wallace Lake Supper Cub, uh, those those three are our platinum sponsors that are just really going above and beyond uh, to help support this effort. So tell us about the the chili portion of this now. The soups and chili, are those made by local individuals or by restaurants? We open it up to restaurants and businesses. Okay. The past years, it's been been sort of a mix between between the two. This year, it's pretty unique because restaurants came out of full force. You know, we talk about throughout the pandemic that, oh, well, some restaurants kind of died down and, you know, maybe they didn't have the staffing. Right. Um, this year surprised us <laughs> just because how many people were beating down our door because they wanted to participate and they, they wanted to be the top chi- uh, chili yeah, or soup. You, right. Um, so we have 30 participants this year. I believe wow. 28 of them are restaurants. We just okay. have two that are not restaurants. I see one is the West Bend Firefighters. Yes. They're not a restaurant. But, yes. But, you know, they've won in the past, so they could. I, well, that that was where I was going to go. Is, is that is that a <laughs> sleeper here on this mm-hmm. is the because uh, I, I know that those uh, guys and gals are are very competitive so yes they uh, are in a good way in a good way we if you have a fire department you want them to be the ones that always want to win <laughs> <laughs> um, absolutely so what's cool about the event is that you know participants they're, they're there to lay it all on the table right mm-hmm. they're bringing their top level super chili and then the visitors that come in everybody gets a little voting card and you can literally taste test every single chili that's there every soup okay and you're voting to decide who's the best all right and then obviously we tally these up at the end of the three hour event and we, you know we determine a winner we have a big trophy that we hand out uh, oh, and, awesome. and really these restaurants and especially those that have been around and been coming for for years now they take great pride in this I mean I still go to some restaurants where that trophy is proudly displayed yes yeah, uh, <laughs> i bet i bet i see yep. uh yeah 30 that's uh pretty much anybody you can think of in the kind of west bend area there's some from uh, just a little outside of west bend but uh it's a great mix and it looks really cool now we once here at epic creative so this show isn't like a part of epic creative but since i'm one of the partners it comes up a lot yep. we had a, a soup or a chili cook-off here at epic one day and this pre-pandemic and we had been in the building in this building here at, at, next to the library for maybe uh, six months i think we moved in october and this was the february you know coming up to the super bowl right before that and somebody started our kitchen on fire 
<laughs> so it was like we were in here. It was cold outside, and we all had to go outside because somebody left a, a crock pot on too high or something like that. And awesome. Uh, uh, yeah, started in a nice little kitchen fire. So no, I no thought, damage. I no thought damage. you were going to say that maybe Epic Creative should uh, join us next year, but yeah, based on I, that story, I no, think, no, think, you should not. <laughs> well, the fire the firefighters are there, so oh, okay. we we might we might be okay. How much are tickets to the event? Where can people get them uh, if they want to come to the event? Yes, so you absolutely can just show up at the event and get tickets. Okay. Uh, that is uh, $10 for adults. We have a little $1 discount for seniors 55 and up. And then uh, kids about the age 6 to 12 uh, get a $5 ticket, and then kids 5 and under are free. And with all this, you can eat as much as you want. You can get free dessert, which is great too. You can get tickets in advance. You can get a $2 discount when you do that. Those are available at the Fox Brothers Piggly Wiggly, Horicon Bank, or just really any Early Risers Kiwanis member like myself. I have tickets right here on hand that I can give you. Great. Um, and happy to, to to sell those out as much as possible. Awesome. Um, so again, it's 10 for adults, 9 for seniors 55 plus, 5 for kids 6 to 12. And if I, now as a parent, and you have five children, yes. if I could get a five and under to eat chili, I would actually probably pay you um, money to get them to to eat uh, chili. But they are free. So So speaking of having unruly kids that might go crazy during three hours, I did want to share that we have a bags contest going on. Oh, cool. um, uh, So if you're familiar with Silverbrook, they have a gym right next door. So that gym's now open to us and our event as well. Uh, So we're going to be doing an open gym, open bags tournament. There's going to be little prizes associated with that. So it's a great place to kind of let your kids run and blow off steam. Good, cool. Um, in addition, we do silent auctions and raffles. Uh, okay. we, our big prize every year is we have this giant flat screen TV oh, awesome. that's been donated by uh, PML. Okay. Um, and so that's always been the big prize that, that somebody wants to win. But there's a lot of cool different uh, raffle prizes that you can get as well. And the Super Bowl is the next day, right? Is yes. that correct? Yep. So, so then the if you win the TV, there you go. You, you can watch you know like watching style. Awesome! It is the Super Bowl Saturday soup and chili cookoff from the West Bend Early Risers Kiwanis, and that is happening on Saturday, February twelfth, from eleven a.m. till two p.m. at Silverbrook School. Mayor Jenkins, thank you for coming on the show today. You are welcome to come back and talk about some of the other great events that uh, the uh, West Bend Kiwanis Early Risers have going on throughout the year. I know that it's important to our community to help support these organizations that support our youth, and I appreciate all that you guys do. Absolutely. Thanks so much for having me. Spicy. I've been wanting to say that all episode. You know, it's chilly. That'll do it for another episode of 15 Minutes with Fuzz. If you ever have an idea for a guest, if you would like to be a guest, do not be bashful. Email me, 15withfuzz at gmail.com. That's 15 spelled out, 15withfuzz at gmail.com. Don't put in 15 with fuzz. That won't get you the right place. I'm always looking for people, places, and things in Washington County to talk about. And then we put them out on a Monday morning, at midnight. Thank you for listening. Enjoy your chili. We'll talk to you next week right here on 15 Minutes with Fuzz. Fuzz.